Welcome to WineWeirdos.com. Hi, I'm Chris. Christopher. Mike. Chris is feeling under the weather. He has <laughs> exciting video. He has what looks like what looks that 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 that. He has what looks like the flu. If you say so. He has a fever and he's achy. We're gonna drink some wine. That'll fix things. He wanted to lay on the couch. So we're gonna do a blind tasting today. We have wine number one and wine number two. So Ooh. let me pour wine number one to all of us. These are the same varietal. That's all I'm gonna to say. Too much information. Okay. Interesting. And then color. you guys can start to you guys it's can red. start to speculate on well, the region. Pretty sure Christopher's a dirty teeth right now. The style. The uh, what do you think of it? There we go. All right. So let's compare. One is one is significantly darker. Significantly browner, I would say. Yeah, that's the word I was. So about. orange. Even. It's got a lot of orange brick kind of going on. Right. And the other one's a little just more, you know, ruby, straight up ruby. Right. The other one looks more like almost a Shiraz, right? Or Pinot color. I know what these are, but they don't. Hmm. Number one smells delicious. It's got a lot of caramel. I get caramel some cran I get cranberry. You get caramel, cranberry, and bacon for me. Mm. Yeah, there is like a meaty mustiness to it. Yeah, you get a lot of must. Right. Mm. Number two. Ooh, a little bit more bright. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> a lot brighter. Wow. Yeah, that's like... It smell, it's nice though, sugar. right? Sugar. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's it like smells like an Australian smell. Ripe, ripe uh, like red pepper peel mm. and bright cherry, cherry skin. I agree. What's going on one? Wow. They're very different, I would say. This is for sure true, yeah. Alright, let's try one. One. Mmm. That's really nice. I'm liking the mouthfeel. That's what I'm gonna comp go on this, but I'm not... There's a lot of fruit, too. I'm not really impressed by the fruit, though. Really? The quality, but I'm impressed by the mouthfeel. Um, it's a little hot for me. Little. Mm -hmm. I think the heat's overbearing the fruit. Mm -hmm. Right. But the, the mouthfeel is quite... quite mouth... it's coating. Jammy coat. I don't know. I like this one a lot. I think it's pretty balanced. Mm -hmm. It's not too hot for me. It's definitely a little hot. But Am I supposed to guess what type of wine this is? Because I'm not sure. I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can guess. It's very drinkable. They're both the same. They're both they're the both same the variety. Same. I understand Completely that. Completely in inoffensive. Sort of it's very balance. drinkable, but although well, yeah. one of them is kind of a blend, but it's mostly mm -hmm. one wine. Oh well, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try number two. Wow, this nose. Yeah, is, the nose. The is nose is, like it's great. Sick. Actually, it's super candied. It's just really great. Hmm. Mm. There's the fruit that the number first two was is missing. delicious. Oh gosh, number two is amazing. Want more of number wow. two? Wow. Peppered cherry again on the nose. Bright cherry on the palate. Bright cherry. A lot cherry. of cough syrup. Mm -hmm. A lot of cough syrup. It's very fruit forward. Mm. Yeah, number two knows what it is. Like if Nyquil made a cherry like, flavor, this mm -hmm. is it. Nyquil doesn't make a cherry flavor. This is it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's really good. It's almost as good as Robitussin. Mm -hmm. This is Robo. Really this is good. Nicely extracted fruit here. Yeah, I, I think this is really strong. Number great. two is fantastic. Going great. I love number one too, though. But number one's obviously. What would you say? What you want to guess where these are made? Where? Yeah. Are they? I'm gonna sound like a jackass. Now. No guess. Um, are they uh, number one? Oh, they're from different places. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they are. Take a guess. French. Okay. Number. What would you guess for number one? Sonoma. Okay. Number two. Central Valley. Central Valley. What? California. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would have said like Northwest, like Oregon or. Washington or yeah. Washington. There is a little bit of whetstone kind of white okay. earth going in there. All right, reveal. Well, well yeah, let's, 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 rate, score. let's rate them. Yeah. All right. I think number one is like a like an 88, 87. Okay. Eight, 84 for me. 89 plus. I don't mind it, but big it's fan, just big next, fan next number two, which is like an easy 92. 90. I really like number, number two. Yeah. 86. 90 for me. Wow. I like these big wines. These you're, not, you're not a big fan of these wines. Yeah. They're you, you know they're they're drinkable, but they're you're not wild. Take them to dinner. I'm pretty wow. I like these wines. I think they're both great. And the good news is they're very low price. Excellent. QPR, baby. Yeah. The number one was a grocery outlet buy. It's, All right. Uh, it's from Lusac Saint Emilion. It's a 
It's from Is that French? Bordeaux, 2003 oh, it's Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Oh, I'm a genius. Yeah. It was $8.99 grocery outlet. Oh, um, I got it right. 13.5 alcohol by volume. You're right. It's French. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. And uh, it's by Jean-Pierre Mou. I don't know how to say his name, but I'll I'll put it in text. Yeah, it's, it's an O3 too. It's it's showing it's some age and some softness. I'm refinement. a big fan. I think that the key is you go to grocery outlet and you just buy whatever French stuff. At nine bucks, the QPR takes this rating up for me definitely. Oh, it's it's, it's great. It's QPR. a great great deal. I'm, it becomes drinkable and a good. I'm a little so, too. Yeah. I can see it going in our three. But you, you knew too. offhand how much. If this cost, is like so. potentially a bottle of room with us, and that also be excellent to take to dinner sometimes. Yeah, yeah. this bottle. This so if you guys are out there and you're struggling to think about what wine to take to dinner and you just look through your medicine cabinet you can always just take some of that All right number two is yellowtail reserve yellowtail. merlot, wow. merlot. It was and a merlot. i actually I yeah i'm actually a big fan of that it, it was, says juicy and mellow but i think it's more i don't think it's that mellow no it's, it was, it's juicy and bright it's pretty attacking yeah delicious what's the price point on that it's like 11 12 bucks something like that another good qpr yeah and we're favoring a merlot uh, here wrong on the location though for this that is yellowtail right. reserve this is mm -hmm. their reserve line um, that we've we were on the wrong continent on this one, though. Yeah, Australia. I would. I might have. I would. I would like to think I would have guessed Australia, but I didn't know. Mm. If you weren't already if biased I by already. the fact that you knew the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Not as good as you guys. I got. I was a zero for two there. So All right. What you're saying is that the yellowtail beat out the fancy French name. They're both cheap wines, though. Mm -hmm. I think they're both good wines. Very I for, I think for the price, they're great. I've had thirty dollar bottles. I didn't like nearly as much. I agree. Oh, yeah. I mean, no. either one of these, like neither one of these, are close to like. You know, oh yeah, if you see either of these, buy them. Buy them. All right, so for WineWeirdos.com, we'll be back with more blind tasting. Coming Roll up. The, <laughs> the best part of waking up is wine like in, in the glass. Cup.